Hey, it's Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Short video today about restoration slash mitigation companies. Now, um, some are legitimate, some you have to be careful with, and some, um, you know, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say it. So, um, here's the thing about these companies. Let them do the mediation. Let them do the EMS. Emergency Mitigation Service. Some of these companies will want to do the repairs. I want to give you one scenario, nightmare scenario. I tried to help this person, but I found out later that I couldn't. And let me explain this really quick. I get a call from a client. She tells me, I need help. The um, restoration slash mitigation company, she had water damage that came from the second floor of her townhome down there first floor, tons of damage. I don't know how in the heck this company, they did the good, good job with the mitigation, so they took care of all the water damage initially. Um, the, the lake where the water was at, they dried all that up, dried up her walls and so on and so forth. Um, they had an estimate to repair everything. She went with it, she, they, they, they had her sign a contract to do the repairs, contract for the repairs like $21,000. I think after a deductible, which was $2,500, she got a check mailed. They actually, the insurance company mailed it to the mitigation company. They were starting the repairs. Coronavirus came. They stopped the repairs. All right. So they never finished it, never went back. She calls me, help, can you help me? And I say, I asked her when I came to her house, looked at everything, I'm like, wow, how much money did you get? And she said, 18500 What I found out later, I didn't know she signed a release. So normally, she was paid like a couple thousand dollars initially, and then the mitigation company got her $18,000 more. And you're like, well, that, that's okay. What, what's the big deal about that? I'm going to tell you. I went there and... Um, I asked her about the release and she didn't believe she signed one. She didn't remember. Um, and I truly believe her. And uh, she knew she signed something. So, anyhow, we wrote an estimate. I'm not kidding you. I think it was 140 something thousand, maybe even more. That's how much damage she had. I don't know how this mitigation company wrote a $21,000 or $22,000 estimate, but they did. I'm figuring, what the heck? So, what they did somehow work something out with the insurance company the insurance company sent the mitigation company a release telling them have the client sign it and we'll mail you the check they did it we i double checked the release because there's some language if you sign a release and it's a first check it may not be upheld in a court of law and then there's another one where sometimes they put at the bottom that you still can file supplemental claim and or any unforeseen damage um, in the future as a result of this claim. So you sign the release, but there's still that kind of open door, if you will. She was totally taken advantage of. And so I always tell my clients or anybody else, do not let a mitigation company repair your damages. It's up to you if you want to, you're taking a chance. This is just a short video on my advice. Let them do the mitigation water. If they also tell you, hey, we can repair, rebuild, replace, nope. Tell them, nope, 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 I'll find my own contractor to do it. Quick video, it's just a little informative. Hope this helped. Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. You can contact me direct, 754-252-5438. Thank you.